let's look at the cycle of non-conformance. First, awareness of a non-conformance is raised. This may be a call from a customer stating that goods have been received that are less than satisfactory. A non-conformance can also be raised against a vendor shipment received. An internal conformance can also point to an issue with production line goods. This example will show a non-conformance that has been raised by a customer concerning our chicken product. All non-conformances must be logged. I will show a non-conformance that has already been raised against our chicken product. The NAV2009 Role Centre helps users to see how many open non-conformances are currently present on the system. I'll click the stack of customer non-conformances to access the list. The non-conformance record shows detail of the customer reporting the issue and the affected item and lot. The non-conformance fast tab shows the full detail of the issue with the item. Categories and groups can be assigned to aid the completion of follow-up actions and to aid reporting. If internal contacts are to be emailed in the event of non-conformance, this can be set up and email is sent using this button. I can then use the role centre to check my Outlook inbox and show the email that will be received. Non-conformances must be actioned. These actions can include parts of the logging process such as lot number identification and these actions can also relate to processes outside of the quality control area such as creating a credit and arranging a replacement. These actions are entered onto the non-conformance record. These can be defaulted based on the non-conformance category and group if required. Users can then see a list of all actions requiring completion from the non-conformance menu. This list can be filtered and also used to jump to the non-conformance record to update it if required. A vital action to be taken when a non-conformance has been reported is to trace the item back to source and identify any other customers and third parties that may be affected. From the non-conformance record, we can jump to the lot number information and trace the lot. Here we can see on one screen the original purchase receipt and who the vendor was. We can also see all other sales shipments that were fulfilled using this lot. If this lot had been used in a production run as a raw material, we could track this lot through production to the finished good and through to the sales shipment of the finished product. This is in effect a list of all parties who may need to be contacted regarding this non-conformance. So there's no more rifling through filing cabinet drawers trying to locate production sheets and delivery notes. The tracking of a lot through source to ship has been simplified so that this task could easily be reassigned to another department, a department where little technical knowledge of quality control may exist. This will leave quality controllers with more time to complete their priority one job, performing quality control checks, not performing administrative roles. When all actions have been completed, the non-conformance record can be closed. Now the non-conformance process has been followed through to conclusion, we know that a quick view of non-conformances is provided through the Role Centre. Non-conformances can be emailed internally at the push of a button, and lists of actions against non-conformances can be recorded and seen easily. Affected parties can be identified easily for follow-up.